This is Mayor Raj J. Baraka, and welcome to the Mayor's Vlog. I'd just like to start by saying Newark is not Brooklyn. Because of all of the development that's happening in the city, people are making this kind of comparison to Brooklyn. Brooklyn happened kind of organically. The market forced it to become one of the most expensive counties in the country. We're doing it very deliberately, very different. We have local residents in mind. Uh, we are pushing an inclusionary zoning ordinance that requires developers to have affordability in all of the development that they're doing. The Haynes Project, for example, that's been abandoned for, for decades, uh, has a 40% affordability uh, 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 clause in it. So it, it is happening in and around this city. Um, most of the places that we've developed are abandoned or have been abandoned for 30, 40, sometimes 50 years, not just in the downtown, but in the neighborhood. It's been abandoned for a very long time. So we're not displacing people. So it's kind of really not accurate to say that we are uh, gentrifying those neighborhoods. Uh, those neighborhoods were neglected for 50 years. So it's important for us, uh, while we want to be progressive and thoughtful, but not, not to be cynical and to be a part of what we are doing. I think Newark residents deserve great department stores. They deserve great restaurants. They deserve to shop in places that are not charging them exorbitant fees for cheap or, or less quality material. Uh, they deserve to have a nightlife. They deserve residences uh, or places to live that are not rat infested, where the ceiling is not falling in, that, are, that is uh, route with asbestos and lead poisoning. They deserve better places, and we're going to fight for them to get those quality places. And we're going to fight for them to get better jobs, and we have them been with better wages so they can afford these opportunities, and we create affordable housing so they can live in them. Uh, we create cooperatives in the city of Newark that we're doing, that we are uh, getting direct sales from the federal government so people can be able to buy homes at low rates. That we can continue to homestead or, or make uh, Newark property available to Newark residents at low prices and get them the financing that they, that they need in order to live in these neighborhoods. Uh, that we work with the corporations on buy, live, uh, or work in the city of Newark to, to get them to hire more Newark residents, to get them to invest and procure in Newark small businesses, to get their employees to live uh, in the city of Newark. So we, we're very creative, we've been very creative about how we make these things happen. Yes, we need your input, we need you to be involved, but you can't just be against development and not uh, for the, the bettering of conditions that we've been living in. In this city, frankly, uh, for the last five decades, uh, being neglected for a very long time, while many of us have the privilege to go shop in South Orange or Livingston or Union or New York City. We go eat there. We go to the shop right there. We go to the Whole Foods there. We go to these places and then we come back to our homes uh, and the majority of Newark residents have to go to uh, overpriced, underqualified places. And we, we can no longer tolerate that. We have to create better places for them to shop, better places for them to live, and, and, and better opportunities for them to work. And that's what we're doing right here uh, in the city of Newark. But we need your help doing that. So when you hear people say Newark is the next Brooklyn, I want you to check them. I want you to stop them and say, no, Newark is the next Newark. We're moving from Brick City to Newark 3.0. And we're going to be a model of how to create development, how to develop housing, how to do the things in the city in a way that's progressive, that it keeps the residents here and doesn't push them out. We need you to be involved in a constructive conversation, not a destructive one. We need you to be a part of making this happen, right, and not just being cynical about it on social media. We need you to be a part of the new Newark that I've been waiting for since I was 14 years old. And I'm still here, and many of my friends and family members are still here with us. And we're going to make a better Newark for the residents of this city. Thank you.